had no mentors. We just plugged in and went, oh, is this how you do it? <laughs> oh, this feels good. This is fun. Why don't we keep doing this? They all thought we were going to be just, you know, a, a, a sort of boutique band and we'd have a couple of hits and then, you know, we'd go on our merry way, sort of like Tiny Tim did with his ukulele, right? But it didn't happen that way because Gene and I always had this rock and roll dream, not just wanting, we needed to be in the first all-girl band to get signed and do records and get out in the world in the way that we did. In a lot of ways, it was just one of the most wonderful experiences in our lives, okay? I mean, we knew we were forging the way. Part of it was a total drag because we'd have to spend the first 10, 15 minutes convincing people that we could play. I mean, the compliment, not bad for chicks, not even girls. The guys would come up to them, not bad for chicks, and you have to go, thank you sign the thing and turn your back, you know, and make nice. It's, it's exhausting. It's like being in a party all the time where you're just putting on your best face, but you just want to go home. And then the questions we were asked by the press, which were uh, ad nauseum just to me, so boring. I really would go insane inside every time somebody said, oh, and what does it feel like to be a girl? Playing in a band. What does it feel like? I mean, what? <laughs> Didn't you read the last article that came out? We were practicing and playing our hearts out and writing songs and being creative and changing arrangements and working in the studio and changing our sounds and you know, we were doing all that stuff that you should do if you're in a band and you're professional and you have goals. But it was the audience and society that was one-dimensional. We were three-dimensional in living color. In terms of society, we were ahead of our time. So people who played, the musicians, we had a lot of recognition. They, they did know and see how we played and like that. But as far as the general audience, it was still a novelty and they just couldn't quite grok who we were or what we were about. And like I said, we just didn't hang together long enough to really break through all that prejudice and, and skepticism. Well, Fanny made it. Fanny made we didn't, it. We didn't quite make it to Yeah, that but point. I mean, Fanny made it in the sense that we were totally poisoned. I just was so tired. And so, you know, life had taken a turn for me in, in a way that flattened me. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Fanny did not, not make it because, you know, we set we, out, we what, did what we set out to do. Yeah, but what we didn't do, we never had enough success that we really earned the money. Well, that's because I imploded. Yeah. I left the band. I had to. I was going to die. When people bemoan Fanny not being better known, you know, I mean, yes, uh, on one level that's true, but on another level, I feel like so many seeds are sprouting and so many things are coming to fruition as they were meant to be and I rest in that.